Hi guys, good morning. This is Dr. Vamshi from Dog.Pilot and Aviation Academy. In the very first chapter of radio navigation, there is one topic called types of radio waves. You can see the slides behind me. This is a very small topic, but very frequently asked in the exam. And students tend to make mistake in this topic. A very easy mark gone. So let me clear. Uh, so let me today discuss this topic. And probably I will give you a small idea how the nomenclature went and why these waves are named so and so. Without wasting any further time, let's go directly into the topic. Coming to the first kind of wave, surface waves. Initially, when the radiomagnetic waves were discovered, they used surface waves. There used to be a transmitter on the ground, which used to produce a surface wave, which traveled along the curvature of the earth and was received by a receiver. This traveling along the curvature of the earth is due to the property of diffraction of surface waves. I am not going into details of these characteristics of these waves, but giving you just coming to the second types of waves. These are called space waves. Now the question is they are not from space, they are not going to space. Why are they called space waves? What happened was after they discovered uh, radiomagnetic waves and they put into application they discovered aircrafts and they wanted to communicate from ground to aircraft then the same transmitter was on the ground and the receiver was in the aircraft and two types of waves were sent to the aircraft one was a direct wave it used to directly travel to the aircraft the other they absorbed was this direct wave sometimes gets reflected from the ground also so it is called as ground reflected wave so there were only two types of waves one which traveled along the curvature of the earth they were called as surface waves and the second type was traveling directly direct wave ground reflected wave these waves direct wave and ground reflected wave are named as sorry were named as space waves At that time, people didn't know that there existed waves which will go to a higher level also. Let's see what are the next kind of waves. If you take this slide, here, here could be the receiver and this would be surface wave. If an aircraft is present here, one wave will travel directly called direct wave the other wave will be ground reflected wave this are called as space waves now there is a layer called ionosphere in the atmosphere it exists from 60 kilometers to the top of the atmosphere what happens in this ionosphere is the sun's rays in the range of ultraviolet or lower will be absorbed by the atoms in this layer and the electrons and they exist in the form of electrons and positive ions the specialty of this layer is refract radio waves refract not reflect refract radio waves now if you send a wave to the ionosphere of more than 500 kilohertz at certain angle called as critical angle it will get refracted back to the surface of the earth at a very long distance see the surface wave could travel only till here the space waves could travel only till here but for example the space waves, waves uh, the surface waves are used in NDP maximum range of NDP is 200 nautical miles sky waves are used I mean these waves which are refracted, refracted from the ionosphere are used in HF communications. The range of this HF communications is around 800 nautical miles. So this distance was 800 nautical miles. So these waves which were traveling to the ionosphere and coming back, they were called as sky and rest all other waves 
सरफेस वेव स्पेस वेव्स विच कंसिस्ट ऑफ डायरेक्ट वेव एंड ग्राउंड रिफ्लेक्टेड वेव वेर कॉल्ड एस ग्राउंड वेव्स To be clear, I will revise this classification once again. Whichever waves went to the ionosphere and came back at a very long distance, they are now called as sky waves. Whichever reach directly to the aircraft, direct waves, and the subtype, which are reflected from the ground and reach directly to the aircraft, ground reflected waves. together are called as space waves the other waves which travel along the curvature of the earth are named as surface waves finally the division is whichever go to ionosphere are called sky waves and whichever don't go to ionosphere or non ionospheric waves are called ground waves so ground waves consist of surface waves and space waves space waves consist of direct wave ground reflected wave hope this is clear and you score one mark in the exam all the best